So, speaking of mistakes, Vince McMahon, interview, in, Vince McMahon interviews Hulk Hogan. In Hulk's very first appearance ever on Monday Night Raw, when this inter- backstage interview segment, he is decked out in black and white. Already teasing joining the NWO. Dude, I was so tired watching this show that Vince, he goes, we're going to have an interview with uh, Hulk Hogan. And it's a brief, uh, you know, they're he, they're both sitting in a chair. And uh, Hogan is actually Terry at this point. He's, Terry he's very much Terry, yes. He's out of character. He's, you know. and uh, Blatantly scripted. Vince goes, uh, Monday on Raw. You're going to return and have a... You're going to talk to the people. And I'm like, fuck, we're in raw territory already. Like, my brain told me I was watching Superstars or something. Because he's talking about raw like it was another show. But it turns out he interviewed Hogan about an interview that was going to happen later on the same show. Yeah. I was like, all right, whatever. It was like a preview to the interview. And then Hogan did the whole interview about... Uh, you know, there's these, uh, these, uh, forget the term he used. Tabloid terrorism. Tabloid terrorism. They, they say all these things about you that aren't true and it doesn't matter as long as it, it, you know, boosts Benef- them up and, yes. but then later he admits, he goes, you know, I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes recently. I made a lot of mistakes dating all the way back to little league. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck happened in little league? <laughs> Like, I don't want to know, but that's kind of weird. And then he keeps going on and on, and he goes, there's now going to be, there used to be the four commandments of Hulkamania. Now there's five. You'll still say your prayers. You'll still eat your vitamins. I guess because kids ate the vitamins back then. You didn't swallow them. Flintstone children. Yeah. You'll say your prayers. You'll take your vitamins. You'll, uh, what was the other one? Train. train. You'll, you'll train. Yeah, you'll train. Say your prayers. Eat your vitamins. Believe in yourself. And believe in yourself. That's right. And he goes, in the fifth one, I was like, I got to hear this. He goes, you'll believe in Hulk Hogan. I'm like, that's a commandment now? That, honestly, I don't even think one of the Ten Commandments is, you'll uh, believe in God. To be fair, he's talking about being a Hulkamaniac. If you're going to be a maniacal follower of Hulk Hogan, <laughs> I guess believing in Hulk Hogan. But fuck, isn't that isn't seems that, like a reasonable demand? Bro, isn't that like presumed? I don't like, know. Like God didn't have to put "Thou shalt believe in me" as the first commandment. I because like know. if you believe in him, then you believe in the commandments and vice versa. That was the fifth commandment. You will believe in Hulk Hogan. I thought, I man, so what much, a narcissist. I have so much to say right now, but I'm not going to. Don't, Craig. I love it. I love it that throughout this interview, you could believe everything Hulk Hogan was saying, except he kept referring to himself in the third person. <laughs> well, yeah. Was, well, no, he wasn't Craig. He was Terry talking about Hulk. Whatever. Two different people here. I suppose I, so. I, as we learned in the trial, because as he said, Hulk Hogan does not have a 10 inch penis. So okay. That's what? what he said. <laughs> that's what he said during his trial. Okay. Thanks, Craig. Look, look it up. No. Not the... Never mind. Absolutely not. <laughs> There's a 0% chance I'll look that up. I just like that... Uh, th- there was one line No, Josiah, said, it's thou shalt have no other gods before me. Isn't that the commandment? Uh, yes. Well, yeah, that means you. That means it's, it's a given that you already believe in God. The first commandment is not thou shalt believe in me. It's thou shalt... It would be like if Hogan said, thou shalt have no other hulksters... Other than me, I forget how it goes. Before me, you can't believe. I don't know. Come on, Vince, please. I just like that. Yes, Hulkster. Josiah said I was correct. Holster here. He did say that you can publish whatever you want, whether it's true or not. But he never outright denied anything. He simply said the Hulkamaniacs do not dwell in. Uh, they dwell in positives, not negatives. Bullshit. That's what he said. They Maybe boo not. the heels. They call Earthquake fat. I, I was there as a kid. I just seen the signs. Horrible. A show money incorporated breaking Beefcake's face again. And again, they, they do this. They, they, it's so weird. They want you to believe in this angle, but they also at the same time kill the heat totally dead. They show this guy who had his face broken, getting his face broken again with a briefcase. 
And then Macho Man assures us, Brutus only had a broken nose, but the intent was still there. Yeah, then they show the footage and Beefcake's on the ground. He's crying. He's whimpering and wailing. And you're like, you just had a broken nose. Yes. And you're crying. Not to say the broken nose wouldn't hurt, but this bloke was crying like his fucking... I broke my fucking orbital bone. I didn't cry like that. Yes. Did you know uh, Nick Wayne broke his nose while you were gone? I heard. That yeah. sucks. Okay, so Vince interviews Hulk Hogan in the ring. And Hulk, of course, was in Venice Beach. And this is this is not a Terry promo. This was a Hulk promo. Uh, he's watching. Oh, yeah, he's total Hulk Hogan mode here. Outstrut the Million Dollar Man and out-wrestle the Million Dollar the Man. The multi-million dollar man, Vinny. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. He always calls him that. Yes. When that no-good IRS snuck out from the back and they hit him with a briefcase. Brutus got the crush of all times in his face, Hulk says. The noise was so loud on my TV, I had to turn my head. I knew Brutus's face was crushed into a million pieces, but Brutus is okay. <laughs> I don't get it. He says his nose is a little crooked. He just looks more like a wrestler now. He wants to thank two people for saving Brutus last week. The big man upstairs and Jimmy Hart. Because Jimmy was the one who threw his body on He's top the of little man downstairs. Apparently. Yeah. Oh. Never thought of it that way, but I guess that's what you just called him. All right. So I didn't mean it like that. I'm just saying <laughs> yeah, what you said. Pervert. So uh, anyway, Hulkster here is, he declares himself back in the WWF. He first order of business is to right the wrongs Money Incorporated tried to do for Beefcake. He calls Brutus out. Brutus also thanks the Hulkster. He thanks Jimmy Hart. And they say they're going to take all of Money Incorporated's assets, starting with the manager. I always thought I always thought Jimmy Hart was yellow, but it turns out he's red and yellow. And he brings out Jimmy Hart. He's all Hulkamaniac out, and he's their manager now. Bro, this is so like you watch wrestling nowadays, and some guy goes babyface to heel, but they still act like they did before. They go heel to babyface. There's never this Jimmy Hart comes out, and he goes, "All my life, I idolized you, Hulk." All I ever wanted was to wear that red and yellow. I mean, total 100% 180 from diabolical heel that used to hit people with his fucking megaphone. Now he's a die hard to the core Hulkamaniac. He says he believes Hulk and Brutus will be the greatest tag team of all time. Can't win them all, Jimmy. Can't win them all. All time. He vows to take his vitamins and money incorporated. You better start saying your prayers. And so Hulk says, DiBiase, IRS, what you gonna do when the, uh, the Mega Maniacs? That's what we'll call ourselves. Thinking on his feet, that Hulkster. He knew they were going to come out and, and unite here and challenge the uh, Chad Team Champions and never thought to think of a team name until right there live on air. And so they're the Mega Maniacs. They challenge the Money Incorporated, and Hulk flexes forever. And there you go. So uh, the the uh, interview segment here that we just talked about this uh, this kicked off at uh, at the 14 minute mark of this television show. Yes. And I thought, okay, these two these two guys they can't possibly talk for 20 minutes. Uh, what what? There's got to be a main event, right? So they talk and they talk and they talk and they talk. And they talk. And they talk. And then they start flexing, and the segment's over, but there's four minutes left. Mm -hmm. Vince goes, we'll be right back. So I think, they're going to come back, and he's going to flex for four more minutes. It is Wrestling Observer Live today. I'm Oreo the Orca. Do you have a blowhole rating system? Like, if you're really excited about a match, it gives you yeah, this, six squirts? Yeah, this match was, was uh, two and three-quarter holes, if you must know. So I was watching this show, and they had a bunch of videos for this Liv Morgan about how, oh, my whole life I've been a wrestling fan. Oh, I'm going to win my first title ever. There's children cheering and going, oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I do indeed. <laughs> hey, Danhausen, can you hear us? Yes, can you hear Danhausen? Hey, look at that holy hey. mother of God. Look what we've done here. You broke a leg. Is that true? Uh, it was broken in half, snapped in two. The doctor said it was a tibia and a fibia. Uh, I'm a whale and not a doctor, but is it not a fibula and not a fibia? A fibula? Well, I know. Perhaps what? the doctor lied to Dan Housen. You know, Dan Housen, if you were a whale, you wouldn't have broken your leg. 
This is true because whales don't have legs. What did you grow up watching as a little evil man? Kane ripping off the door when he debuted. Yes. How old were you, Dan Helsen, when that match took place? Oh, about, uh, what was that, 1997, so about 700 years old. Oh. Also, one time Dan Housen had Dolph Ziggler's theme song as his alarm, and it went off in class. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, it's true. Dan Housen likes Dolph Ziggler. You like Dolph Ziggler? He's good matches. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.